All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the crown and start to weave his weapon traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. And there comes the separation now. Big kick land. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. He loaded up on that right hand too. Just over three minutes to go round one. Well, single collar tie here. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to count. Oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high punch, take it for a ride. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Look at him whip his hips. That is a huge shot right there, DC. He needs to start looking at the finish line because he's got it out of him back. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to And a nice job of stick right there to complete the takedown. Escapes up to his feet. Very nice. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. More work now to that lead leg. Solid leg kick is good. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna call this? A little single collar tie there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Throws every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Just missed with the leg kick. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 26 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Lee the Leech King Leon. So the celebration is on with him and his team and Ovin St. Preux.
Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. A little cut below that left eye. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. Big kick lands. Repeatedly, nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination. Uh, I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. St. Drew gets caught with that punch. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. He continues to work out of that tight clinch. Connects with a right. OSP gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Determined to land as... Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. So just over 20 strikes have landed for Oven St. Cruz. Big head kick lands. Big knee lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down. Poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa. How he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys can stop from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Switching stances here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, that is as good a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. An elbow! Strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he's in This should be good. Here we go with the start of round two. Alexander Gustafson versus Ovin St. Cruz. Flips. Stuff the takedown, no problem. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head. Head landing, punch out, punch out. You have got Tolly Todd. Reach back inside and try to find space. guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used... All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliot has called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Alexander, the All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockouts. Play Guido. Ready. 
here transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. And they separate. Oh, blood pouring out of that eyebrow now. That shot opened him up. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. It won't take many of those. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Under two minutes in the first round. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival mode. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Edson Barbosa. in and secures the takedown. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Single collar tie now. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over again. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over. These guys are doing it. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Well, looks as though he's here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And for the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop. You gotta defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture in the intensity. And the crowd strike is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be over the critical, but not nice hit directly. Into the Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, take your time, take your time, relax, breathe. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? Right hand punch from the clinch. And they clinch once again. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. shot 
to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 46 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Eshan two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a vision weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Torres gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, you should pop yourself up. When you can land that little leg kick, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over like this. You start to see shot of double leg. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, nice punch there by what? Big elbow there, Lance. Close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Well, he has landed 
some good shots, DC, but really Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Hawaiian Brad Tavares. Oh, straight right. Yeah, oh. Like that. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. to get the big knockout win. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, two seconds of round number two. To play the winner by as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Oh, collar tie. When you're in a pitch, you can pull it down to the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Back to the well with that oh, right hand. That's no down. take down, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too oh, he's that gets him. Certainly, I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half throw. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestle stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. You get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think he's going low and he comes right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Derek Brunson. Beautiful punch. All right, he engages in a single battle side. And they separate. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. On the inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was hoping. All right, round two. Oh, big left. Right up the elbow. 
decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 24 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by Knockout Assassin. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here. Ready. So the fight is underway. We'll see how it plays out. It's a big one fight to in Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in the U.S. versions. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food team. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well rounded that they have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice punch there by Anderson. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check the but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Whoa! He's hurt, serve him up, go get him. Oh! Back to the feet. Big elbow. Another head kick lands. He's got to start blocking these, DC. One more, and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike to his chin. But you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Well, 25 total strikes have landed for Corey Anderson. Two minutes on the round one clock. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. That's a big strike right there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, big knee! He needs to start. Oh! That is gonna do it! Corey Anderson! Oh! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And 
That's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is what they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, Corey Anderson. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout and Anthony Johnson. between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the film. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. Oh! He's out! Unbelievable! What a fight! Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first-round win by knockout, near-perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous, and again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 28 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Rumble Johnson! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. <laughs> yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over. But excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight. It can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 31 seconds of the very first round. To play the winner. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. up with strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to spread up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you... Oh, and there's the double leg takedown DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet going backwards. It's hard to run backwards. And that's what happens when this guy hits the double leg. Reversal here, DC. 
What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Fighters back to their feet here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. The beautiful takedown land. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Close guard. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Ground and pound strike there now. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. over those five minutes really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound yeah man this is what you're taught when you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter you want to do it exactly like he did gain posture have height All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you've spoken a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a lost art in modern day mixed martial arts. Certainly not for this one. No, and he does it the old school way, right? Yeah. Now, nowadays, you push a guy to the side of the octagon, they use it as a barrier to get up. Right. Not with this guy. He stuffs your head in the corner, he gains his posture, and he just starts dropping hammers, dropping hammers until eventually you're gonna turn to your knees, he'll take your neck and choke you, or he'll just put you back down. It's it's crazy to watch him dictate his opponent's actions with his power from this position. Not many guys can generate that type of right. power. You got to go back to guys like Mark Mugio. They used to call him the Filipino smashing machine yeah. because he was so good with his ground and pound. And this guy shows that same exact type of approach. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound start. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost arc. And that is it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the it. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 47 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by not. Coming up next, the matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. Dangerous fighter across all divisions in the octagon. The 
because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Nice jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face. Oh. Three minutes in our opening round. Oh! There's no tell on that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Tony Ferguson. Wow. Actually got the takedown. Oh, and this oh. might just be a matter of time. Two minutes now to go in the round. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Ferguson's now looking for a Darce choke. Understanding the transition. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Tony Ferguson. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty in this position. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Ferguson. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to 
throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Ferguson. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Checks that leg kick. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Connects with a right. All right, that's the end of round number two. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Ferguson's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Sound strike on the ground. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. This to watch as he continues to go out. And that's gonna do it! And that'll do it! Oh! What a fight! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 49 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still.